Hello and welcome to Ms. Ma's Advanced Functions class. This is 8.4, Laws of Logarithms, or Log Laws. Um, so the first thing I want to do is to remind you how to disprove a statement. Um, in order to disprove a statement, we would want to find a counterexample. Um, so you might want to look at the questions below, and we're going to figure out which ones are true and which ones are false. So which ones are actually log laws and which ones aren't? And you can guess, but you can also use a counterexample dis to disprove these. So go ahead and pause the video and uh, I will come back to you with the answers. Let's see how many you get right. It's out of eight. Okay, so welcome back. Hopefully you have um, got the right answers. False, true, false, true, 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 false, false. And uh, we're actually going to prove these true ones. Remember, to prove something is true, um, you have to prove it is true for all cases, and this one isn't hard because it's just one case, but actually if I just put a little A here, base A, uh, now becomes the general form, and um, so I'm going to derive this one based on one of the exponent rules that we have. We know that A to the 0 is equal to 1, right, no matter what the base is, and so if I just change this into logarithmic form, I'll get log base A of 1 is equal to 0, and there you go, we already have the rule. Um, for this one, again, I'm going to just add my base here, so I'm actually going to make it different. Um, so log base a of a to the x is equal to x. That's the law that I want to prove. If you just put this into exponential form, you'll see that it is true. So we get base of a to the x is equal to the argument a to the x. And so, of course, this is true. Um, and we have this new rule. So we now have two log laws. We have log base a of 1 is equal to 0, and log base a of a to the x is equal to x. We're going to use that in a moment, but first let's look at some exponent rules. What are the exponent rules? Well, we know that a to the x times a to the y is equal to a to the x plus y. That's called the product rule because we're multiplying together, so you get a product. a to the x over a to the y is equal to a to the x minus y. That's called the quotient rule. And a to the x to the y is equal to a to the x y. That's called the power rule. So we're actually going to be deriving the product rule of logarithms from the product rule of exponents. Okay, so we're going to start with a to the x times a to the y is equal to um, a to the x plus y. What we're trying to get to is log base a of a plus log base a of b is equal to log base a of a, b, like that. Okay, so um, this is a really good question for thinking a uh, question on the test or for a quiz or something like that. I might ask you to derive the product law or the quotient law or something like that. Um, I, I do like to do that. It's a good mathematical exercise. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is actually define a to the x and a to the y as m and n, and then we're going to put it in logarithmic form. So log base a of m is equal to x, and log base a of n is equal to y. Now we're going to use those and substitute them in. So a to the x is m, and a to the y is n, and this one we can't do anything with yet, so don't get all sneaky or something. Um, now we're going to log both sides with base a, and don't forget to put brackets around your argument. So log base a of um, a to the x plus y. And now we're going to use the rule that we derived um, just now. We said that log base a of a to the x is equal to x, right? So that means that log uh, base a of um, a to the x plus y is actually equal to x plus y. And now we can replace x plus y since we already defined them. So log base a of mn is equal to log base a of m plus log base a of n. And there you go. See, we got the same log law. And so that is called the product law of logarithms. Okay, so here are some of the log laws. Log base a of mn is equal to log base a of m plus log base a of n. For the quotient law, we have m over n, so it's minus in between. And we call this the bunny hop at law. It's based on the power rule. Log base a of m to the n. You bunny hop this guy out and it becomes n log base a of m. Okay, so that's, those are the three rules and we're going to use them in some examples now. 
here we go. So if you want to pause the video and do these on your own, you can. Um, but I will go ahead and do them with you. So, and then we'll be done the video. Log base 3 of 6 plus log base 3 of 4.5. So because there's the plus, we know that this is going to be the product law. Log base 3 of 6 times 4.5. Again, I'm putting brackets around my... Um, around my argument. So this becomes log base 3 of 27. And if you know your um, if you know your powers of 3, then you know this is 3 cubed, so we can just write 3. Um, and so we'll do this next one, log base 2 of 48 over 3. And this is going to be log base 2 of 16. 16 is 2 to the 4, so this answer is 4. Last two, log base 5 of cube root of 25. Actually, we did a really similar one before. Just wanting to remind you, oops, that um, 25 is really 5 to the 2 over 3. And because of the bunny hop at law, we can move that out. So log, uh, this is 2 thirds log base 5 of 5. Log base 5 of 5 is 1, so this becomes 2 over 3. And the last one, this one we want to simplify it so that it doesn't have any of these um, radicals and we have all separate uh, logs. So that's what it means by simplify. So basically log base A of uh, x cubed uh, y squared over w to the half, that's what that radical means. Um, you can see, again, I put it inside of the argument, log base a of, and I'm going to distribute this half to all of them, so I get x to the 3 over 2, y to the 1 over w to the half, like that. And now I can separate them out, so log base a of x to the 3 over 2 plus log base a of y minus log base a of w to the half, and now the last thing we're going to do is bunny hop these guys out so that we don't have any exponents going on. And the answer is 3 halves log base a of x plus log base a of y minus 1 half log base a of w. Okay, so those are our four examples. Hopefully you understood it. Um, my uh, homework for you before you come to class is to derive the quotient law. So try that. Look, watch the um, video again and then try to do it by following the same example. It has very, very similar steps to it. Um, so before I see you in class, please derive the quotient law uh, and bring any questions you have. I will see you soon. Thanks for watching.